you know, I think it was after uh, you and your wife had your third child, what should have seemingly been a very happy day, all of a sudden immediately turned quite dire. Um, w what happened? We know we thought it was gonna gonna be a, a normal uh, delivery, and all of a sudden things just went crazy, and uh, and my wife, uh, and which is my ex now, uh, she almost died, you know, from it. She lost a lot of blood, and uh, all of a sudden chaos started, uh, you know, happening in the delivery room, and I just knew it was a lot of commotion, people moving around real fast, and I knew something had gone wrong. And, uh, you know, you think about, uh, you know, when you uh, having a child, uh, a lot of people don't realize that the consequences and uh, the risk that you take, and and uh, all of a sudden, uh, you know, we were uh, in the midst of everything. So uh, the baby was healthy. Uh, my wife, my ex-wife, she almost died, but she's uh, she's doing well now. And and but looking back on that time, it was real scary. And and I remember, uh, you know, just uh, stand in the Stanford hospital because everybody got to know me there. I think she was in a coma for about three months and during that time I was at the hospital you know with her so I had a room upstairs <laughs> and yeah. I would just come down and, and, and I, I was at a point where I could read when she was doing well when she was doing bad really? but I just felt like uh, I had to get her through that situation and uh, and you know we were able to uh, walk away from it. How close was she to very, losing her life? Very close, very close, and and it was something that we never uh, fathom, fathom at all. Because then, you know, because we thought because of the first uh, pregnancy, the second one, everything went so well that the third one uh, would just be a, a shoe in. Right. And like I said, then all of a sudden chaos hit, and uh, and we had to deal with it. And I mean, you would never even think that no. something like that would happen during a pregnancy when, when she But then I, we went back in and we looked at the percentage of, you know, women uh, giving birth to kids and that happens a lot. It's just that we don't hear about it. Um, when she woke up from the uh, coma, I, I understand, I mean, the, she had difficulty even keeping yeah. the saliva in her mouth just from a lack of uh, energy what was that period like after waking up in terms of regaining the physical ability? Well, it, it was very difficult because, you know, we talk about a very healthy individual and someone that was accustomed to taking care of themselves. And now all of a sudden uh, she was on a, a respirator, all that stuff, and, uh, and not being able to breathe. And after, uh, you know, taking taking her off the, the tube, now uh, trying to, to be able to walk again, to be able to eat, to do all of those things. And I just felt like it was up to me to be there for her because she had been there for me throughout my career. So everything went on the back burner and, and I was there because when she woke up, I was the first person uh, that she looked up and, and she saw. And I, I think that made her smile. And so, you know, it's, I just felt like I had to be there for her. Going through all of that, uh, what do you think you learned? That it's just not, it's just not all about football, to be honest with you. I, uh, if I could go back and change a lot uh, during my career, I probably would, because I was so focused on being the best uh, player I could be. And, and then you lose sight of, uh, other things that that's happening around you, and you know I think family is the most important thing. Uh, you know, spending time with your kids every day. You know, telling your kids that you love them, and uh, and not just uh, focusing on yourself. So it's more uh, to life than that. What would you do differently? Well, probably. Uh, you know, family-wise, I felt like the most important thing for me, and I think my father instilled this in me, is taking care of my family. Making sure they don't have to go through uh, what I had to go through. So I, you know, I, I focus really hard on that. Also, you know, you have to focus on your marriage. 
you know, you have to put those things first uh, uh, besides your career. And, uh, you know, it's just, uh, just trying to be, uh, I would say, the complete uh, uh, father, you know, in every way and, and uh, the family man.